Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord, and we are here with another episode of our Baltimore Ravens Madden 17 Connected Franchise Series. Now we come into this matchup with an 8 and 5 record. We are winding down the regular season, but we're looking to capitalize here, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles, who are currently 2, 10, and 1 on the season. So we definitely want to get this win before we take on our rivals, Pittsburgh Steelers, in next week's episode. So let's go ahead and jump into the commentary. You see Carson Wentz coming onto the field, 12 touchdowns, 11 interceptions on the year. So having a pretty mediocre rookie season, but right away, he is going to find Zach Ertz, who makes that reception for a first down. Now the very next play, they go with a play fake. Wentz is going to roll out to his left, and then he is going to find his man down the middle of the field. They cross over into Baltimore. Baltimore territory, but right here it is third and four. Wentz sees the pressure. He ends up getting rid of it, but Darren Sproles cannot get his feet down the bounds. They will have to punt it, and now we take over Joe Flacco with 21 touchdowns, 13 interceptions so far on this season. Hopefully, we can go another game without throwing an interception, but let's go ahead and see what we do in our first possession. We hand it off to Justin Forsett. He only gets a gain of two on that play. Then second and eight, we hand it off to Taylor Farrow. He's able to get to the outside, but he is brought down one yard shy of that first down marker. So it is third and one. We decide to hand it off to Forsett, but he goes absolutely nowhere. The defensive line was able to get penetration, and then we will have to punt the football. But here come the Philadelphia Eagle. Carson Wentz throwing this one deep down the field, and we would be called for a defensive pass interference. So the Eagles end up getting the ball at the 23-yard line now. This is now two plays later, second and 12. The handoff to Ryan Matthews down the left side, and he will end up picking up a first down on that carry. Then two plays later, this is Darren Sproles getting the carry, trying to do the exact same thing, but this time our defense was there to eat that one up. So now third and 10. Carson Wentz is in the shotgun formation. He's going to look to his left, and this football will fall incomplete as the receiver could not hold on to it. So they go for the field goal attempt. This kick is up. This kick is good. And the Eagles are going to score first. They're up 3 to nothing in this ballgame. But now we are back on offense right away. Joe Flacco takes his shot down the field. He is going to find Kamar Aiken who makes that reception. Now the very next play, Flacco stepping up into the pocket. He's going to find Crockett Gilmore, but he will end up running out of bounds. So now it is second and seven. We hand it off to Forsett. And look at the nice juke move by Justin Forsett. He will take that one down to the 31-yard line. So we are putting together a pretty good drive here. Handing this one off to Justin Forsett again, this time up the middle. And now on third and one, why not go to Forsett again? And this time Forsett is going to move the chains with their handoff. So now it is second and five. Joe Flacco rolling out to his right. He's going to decide to keep this one himself. And Joe Flacco will run out of bounds safely at the sixth. Yard line. So first and goal, definitely want to try to punch this one into the end zone. We find Justin Forsett, but he will be ruled down one yard short of the end zone. So now second and goal, we hand it off to Carlos Williams, who's been having a breakout game the last couple of games. He's able to get into the end zone right there, and we are going to take the lead up 7-3 to three in this ball game. But here come the Eagles, finding Zach Ertz, who makes that reception, and that will take them into Baltimore territory. Then the very next play, Ryan Matthews breaks out of one tackle, and now Ryan Matthews is off to the races take it off down the left hand side but CJ Mosley is going to bring him down for us but now first and 10 hand this one off to Darren Sproles he's going to take this one to the five yard line third and goal now for the Eagles Carson Wentz dropping back looking to his left and this football will fall incomplete look at this one again looking for Brent Selleck but we're going to come through with Steven Tulloch knock that football loose and now they're going to attempt the field goal attempt except this time they go with a fake field goal and this one does not work whatsoever look at this one again Sam Bradford try to go ahead flick this one but it really did not go anywhere we were all over that one so instead of a field goal we take over on offense but the very next play Joe Flacco will fumble the football into the end zone and this will be a touchdown for the Eagles. So they are up 10 to 7 now in this ball game. In the next possession, Joe Flacco will get hit as he tries to throw it. So that one will count as an incomplete pass. Second and 10, we hand off to Carlos Williams here. He's taking this one to the left side and he will end up stumbling down at the 46 yard line. Now, first and 10, we go with a play fake. Joe Flacco sees the pressure and he ends up throwing an interception. We were looking for Brashard Perriman. But you've seen the pressure came, made a little inaccurate pass right here. It's a very good play on the ball, actually, by the defender. Now, they're going to take over on offense near midfield. Hand this one off to Ryan Matthews. He's going to take that one down to the 48-yard line. Third and three. Now, Carson Wentz dropping back. 
has plenty of time to find an open receiver, but Matthews will end up dropping that one. They will punt it to us. We take over, and we're going to at least try to tie this ball game up before halftime. So you see, just before set, gets a gain of seven on that carry. Now second and three. We're taking the shot down the field, and this one will be a defensive pass interference. So now we have the football at the 40-yard line. This is Justin Forsett. Look at him running strong up the middle. Third and two now. Why not go to Forsett again? He is going to follow his blocks, and Justin Forsett has room. He is going to take this one into the end zone for a touchdown, a 31-yard rushing touchdown, and we are up 14-10. to 10. But here is Ryan Matthews coming off the left side, and the great blocking by his teammates. We're going to try to angle him right here. You see Matt Elam eventually bringing him down at the 13-yard line. Now the first play after the two-minute warning. See, um, Carson Wentz, excuse me. He's going to find Jordan Matthews on that dig route. That's going to be a touchdown. The Philadelphia Eagles have taken the lead once again. However, on the ensuing kickoff return, this is going to be Rashard Perriman there to return. He will muff the kickoff, end up getting the back. And look at the speed by Perriman, just really just running around, trying to find some room. And eventually, he's going to find it down the sideline. Only one more man to beat. He's going to be able to beat him. And Rashard Perriman is going to take this one to the crib for a touchdown. A crazy kickoff return by Brashar Perriman and that is going to take us to halftime we are leading this ball game although we've been outplayed on offense 21 to 17 is the score and then we get the football first to start off the second half so right away we're going to find our fullback on that little check down throw right there that's going to set up a third and eight Joe Flacco is in shotgun looking to his left and this one will be highly inaccurate. So now the Philadelphia Eagles are going to take back over on offense. So Ryan Matthews, he's going to get a carry. Look at that stiff arm as he's able to pick up a first down on that play. Now it is third and 11 for the Eagles. They are dropping back again. This time dumping it off to Darren Sproles who put a nice little juke move on the Darius Webb. And then he picks up a first down as well. So now first and 10 Wentz rolling out to his left. He's going to take a shot down the field. That's going to be Nelson Aguilar who catches it. And then he turns it into a touchdown. Touchdown, poor defense by our actual secondary right there. Really cannot do anything. So now it is second and five. We're going to try to answer right back. This is for set. Breaking out of a couple of tackles, being pushed out of bounds at the 42 yard line. The very next play, we go ahead and hand it off to Forsett again. And he will find more running room. And it's about time Forsett had another pretty good game because he was held in check the last couple of weeks. But then on first and 10, we find Kamar Aiken in between the safety and the corner. He comes up with that catch. Second and 13 now. Joe Flacco looking to his right. He sees Crockett Gilmore and he dives into the end zone however we will be ruled out of bounds at the one yard line so the very next play hand off to our fullback he's able to get into the end zone for a touchdown so 28 24 is the score three minutes ago here in the third quarter but Ryan Matthews is finding room to run once again and we will eventually take him down at the 40 yard line but he goes over 175 yards rushing for the game on that carry right here there's going to be Zach Ertz He's going to end up taking that one down to the 21-yard line. Then on third and one, they hand it off to Matthews again. And Ryan Matthews is taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles are up 31-28. Time winding down here in the third quarter. We're trying to get something going, but we end up throwing another interception. Look at this one again. Trying to find our guy on the slant route. But we're going to overthrow Kamar Aiken and pretty much threw it right at the linebacker. So now the Eagles take over at the 37-yard line. Easy field position for him. Ryan Matthews, he will pick up a gain of about 12 on that carry. Then two plays later, they go right back to Ryan Matthews. And look at the blocks he has down the field. And then look at the stiff arm on Jimmy Smith as he takes this one into the end zone once again for another touchdown. Look at this replay. The just straight up nasty stiff arm. Really could not do anything. And then after that, you already knew he was going to find a way to get into the end zone for a touchdown. So the Eagles are up 38. 28, 10 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. We need to get something going. We pretty much need to do something on this possession. And we get off to a great start. Fighting Bashar Perriman down the field. It was pretty much just a Hail Mary type of throw. And then the next play, looking for Steve Smith. But he can now hold on to the football. Would have been a fantastic catch if he would have been able to hold on to it right here. Joe Flacco will end up being brought down for a sack. So now it is third and 14. We are in the shotgun formation. The pressure is coming. Stepping up in the pocket. And we are eventually find Mike Wallace. And Mike Wallace is taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown. So we are now only down by three points in this ballgame. But here comes the Eagles taking the shot down the field. And once again, we're going to be called 
for defensive pass interference. So now second and nine, they're going to find Nelson Aguilar on the left side. He comes up with that reception. That's going to be a first down for the Eagles. Now it is third and nine. Carson Wentz looking to his left. Darren Sproles short of that first down marker. So that's to go ahead and attempt another field goal. And this field goal will be good. So 41 35, that is the score. We got five minutes to try to get something going on offense. Right away, Joe Flacco finds Perriman, but he drops the football, and then Perriman will go down for the rest of the ball game. So now the second and ten, Joe Flacco is going to try to scramble, and Joe Flacco will pick up enough yardage for a first down on that run. Second and three, we hand this one off to Telia Farrow. He takes this one to the right side, trucks a defender. And then he's brought down at the 38-yard line. Second and 10 now. Joe Flacco is trying to step up in the pocket, but this time he will be brought down by Fletcher Cox for a sack. So now we're looking at a third and 15 here, going with a play fake. Joe Flacco rolling out to his right, taking the shot down the field, and Kamar Aiken drops the football, head in both hands. We have to now attempt a 59-yard kick, and this one will have enough lay behind it. We do get that one to go. This is now a three-point ball game. But 155 remaining. We need to come up with a stop. We use a timeout on second down. Third and eight now. We go ahead and hand it off to Darren Sproles. We're able to stop him. So that means we get a chance to try to win this ball game or at least force an overtime. So Mike Wallace, he's going to return this punt. He will fill this one from about the eight-yard line. He's going to end up bouncing this one to the right side. And Mike Wallace is going to get as many yards as possible before running out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So we get the ball in great starting position, but there is under one minute to go in this ball game. Right away, we're looking for Steve Smith, and this football got intercepted. Luckily for us, he was unable to get his feet down and bounds. So now it's third and 10. Joe Flacco breaks out of the sack, and then he gets hit as he tries to throw the football. So now we are looking at a fourth and 10. This is definitely the ball game. We need to at least get a first down on this play. Joe Flacco dropping back, looking for Crockett Gilmore, and he drops the football. Crockett Gilmore had the ball in his hands, unable to maintain possession of it, and that is going to be the ball game. We end up dropping this game, you guys. The Eagles were 2-10-1 and and one coming into this matchup. We let them come, come into our home field and get a win. Towards the end of the year, we definitely need to rack up these wins because next week we're taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers and we're all fighting for the AFC North. It's definitely going to be a tough matchup. We have to win that game. We have dropped two games in a row. We need to get things back together. Hopefully, we can do that in Pittsburgh next week. But that is all I have for this episode, you guys. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.